Good afternoon, everybody. This is Mike Brennan here at the National Hurricane Center. It's just after 5 p.m. Eastern time on Sunday, June 30th, coming on uh, this afternoon to talk about the extremely dangerous situation that's unfolding for the Windward Islands. It's going to uh, play out overnight tonight and early Monday morning with the extremely dangerous Category 4 hurricane barrel moving quickly towards the Windward Islands, moving west-northwest at 18 miles per hour with maximum sustained winds of around 130 miles per hour. Right now, barrel is centered about 250 miles to the southeast of Barbados and also 350 miles to the east-southeast of St. Vincent. Uh, we have a hurricane warning in effect for Barbados, St. Vincent and the Grenadines, Grenada and St. Lucia. Uh, we're expecting multiple life-threatening hazards uh, with uh, barrel as it moves through the Windward Islands. We have the potential for catastrophic wind damage with the eye wall of a major hurricane moving through uh, the area, especially between St. Vincent and Grenada, including the Grenadines. That's the area we're most concerned about on Monday morning for the eye of barrel to be moving through. In that region, Near and to the north of where the eye passes through, we are expecting six to nine feet of storm surge above normal tide levels, along with uh, devastating wave action on top of that. So that could produce life-threatening storm surge uh, in these island areas. So if we look uh, at the key messages, sort of the things we're most worried about right now, extremely dangerous Category 4 hurricane as Barrel moves through the Windward Islands uh, overnight tonight and early Monday and then into the Caribbean Sea. Uh, you really just have a few hours left if you're making preparations on Barbados, St. Vincent, the Grenadines, Grenada. Uh, you want to be in your safe place by tonight and where, a safe place where you're going to be able to ride out this major hurricane all the way through the day Monday morning. Uh, we Again, I talked about the potential for catastrophic hurricane force winds, life-threatening storm surge inundation, also the potential for very heavy rainfall, especially in the mountainous areas of places like uh, Barbados and uh, St. Vincent and the Grenadines as well. And then uh, Beryl is expected to remain a powerful hurricane as it moves across the Caribbean Sea and could threaten other areas that we'll talk about in just a minute. But first, our focus is going to be in here in the Windward Islands where we have that hurricane warning in effect. This is the wind field currently of Beryl. We have hurricane force winds extending about out about 30 miles from the center. Tropical storm force winds extend outward more than 100 miles from the center. And this wind field is going to move quickly west northwestward toward the Windward Islands over the next 12 to 18 hours. This is the chance of hurricane force winds over the next several days. And you can see the highest risk of those is between Grenada and St. Vincent, including the Grenadines. That's where we're most concerned about the eye wall of barrel moving through early Monday morning. Time of arrival of tropical storm force winds in Barbados is going to be in the early, oh, late evening to early morning hours tonight and into Monday morning, and then very early Monday morning in the Windward Islands. So again, preparations need to be complete uh, by nightfall tonight at the latest and be in that safe place overnight tonight and through the day on Monday. Uh, rainfall, I talked about, we're looking at widespread rainfall totals of three to six inches across Barbados, the Windward Islands. Isolated amounts could reach eight to 10 inches in places like Barbados and the Grenadines, six inches in Grenada. That could produce localized, localized flooding, especially in areas of high topography and in uh, you know, more uh, sensitive uh, locations to flooding as well. Um, let's zoom out, talk about where Barrel is going to go as we go through the week. It's expected to remain a powerful major hurricane as it moves through the Windward Islands and across the eastern and central Caribbean Sea. While the center is expected to remain south of Hispaniola, uh, tropical storm conditions are possible along portions of the southern coast of the Dominican Republic and the south coast of Haiti. Tropical storm watches have been issued for those areas. It means there's tropical storm conditions possible there within the next 48 hours. Uh, Barrel could move near or over Jamaica as we go through the day on Wednesday. And then move into the northwestern Caribbean, passing near Grand, uh, the Cayman Islands, and then approaching the Yucatan Peninsula, Belize, Mexico, perhaps even western Cuba as we go from Thursday into Friday. So Barrel is going to remain, remain a hurricane through most of the week. We could see some weakening as it interacts with land and encounters somewhat less favorable conditions over the western Caribbean, but still expected to be a powerful storm for the next several days. In terms of the timing of arrival of those tropical storm force winds in Hispaniola, we'd be looking at them to arrive sometime during the day on Tuesday, potentially in Jamaica by early Wednesday morning, uh, the Cayman Islands by Wednesday evening, and then reaching the Yucatan Peninsula by Thursday evening. So we'll be watching Barrel as we go through the entire week. I want to do briefly touch on a new tropical depression that's formed in the uh, southwestern Gulf of Mexico. Uh, we've been monitoring this system for the last couple of days. It's become better organized. The main threat from this system, as we've talked about, is going to be heavy rainfall. 
and we are expecting to see uh, flooding across portions of eastern Mexico uh, with mudslides possible in areas of higher terrain. We could see some isolated rainfall amounts as high as 15 inches. Uh, we do have a tropical storm warning in effect for portions of the west uh, of the uh, Gulf Coast of Mexico, and we are expecting the depression to re become a brief a tropical storm briefly before it makes landfall uh, just uh, later tonight and overnight. But again, the main story with this system is going to be the heavy rainfall. So please pay attention to that. Uh, we are watching one other feature out across the tropical Atlantic. We have an uh, area of low pressure here uh, just to the southwest of the Cabo Verde Islands with a high chance of formation as it moves west-northwestward across the tropical Atlantic over the next several days. We are expecting a, another tropical depression or tropical storm to form this week, perhaps to the east of the uh, Lesser Antilles, and it could, uh, in fact, affect some of the areas that are going to be affected by barrel tonight and Monday. So we're going to keep a very close eye on this. But for those of uh, you in the, uh, in the uh, Windward Islands, we're going to get through the barrel over the next 12 to 18 hours. Again, very worried about the potential for catastrophic wind damage, life-threatening storm surge, especially in St. Vincent, the Grenadines, and Grenada as we go through tonight and tomorrow morning. So find your safe place. Get those preparations rushed to completion. We'll have more information uh, throughout the night and into Monday on hurricanes.gov, and we'll be back with you with more later. Thanks for joining us. I'm Mike Brennan at the National Hurricane Center.